the purpose of this um, YouTube is to go over the weighted cost of capital. Uh, before I get to the actual visual analytic, I'll just go over some brief concepts. Uh, the dairy production business involves the assembly of capital feed and management that is exposed to um, uh, the cow, the, the primary acid on the farm, to produce uh, milk, calves, additional cows, and manure and uh, that are valued by society. And of course, this process has undergone evolution and will continue. Uh, the fundamental asset, of course, is this cow that is controlled by the decisions that uh, uh, management makes about how to feed, breed, and, and uh, manage her. Now, the farm accountant looks at this uh, a little differently. He looks at the dairy operation as the assembly of assets, the cows being one of them, but they're also building, land, uh, machinery, milking parlors, so there are a lot of assets that go into a dairy operation. And of course these assets are either owned by the owner, and we call that equity, or they are debt financed. In other words, um, there are debtors who have first, first rights to those assets if the operation is to undergo um, bankruptcy. And so we have a pool of assets and we have the ownership, which really is captured in the balance sheet statements on most farms. <clears throat> then we, of course, uh, have the managers, the intangible assets who actually manage the operation. And basically, owners give resources to these managers. Uh, sometimes the owner and the manager are the same person. And that manager makes decisions about which investments to make on the farm and how to manage these assets from which he gets a return. And this return has to come back and satisfy two hurdles. First of all, it has to pay down the debt. And then secondly, it has to grow equity. And so these are obligations that uh, have to, to uh, be met for each resource or each dollar bill that is offered to the, to the dairy. So this becomes a way in which we evaluate what are good investments and what are bad, which ones give us greater returns than what are required by these existing obligations. So decisions, um, you can think of this as being a hurdle rate. In other words, uh, what minimal level do we need to see? So decisions such as uh, tactical decisions, what to feed, what breeding program, uh, we want to make sure that these decisions are all giving us returns that exceed uh, this hurdle rate. And, uh, and if we do that, uh, this will grow the income per cow and then measures such as return on assets and return on equity, the assets that we own, uh, will, will be in, in good standing. So to look at this issue, we created a visual analytic where the user can dial in the total assets on the farm, and this is on a per cow basis. So uh, here I have it where the debt is at $3,000 per cow, and let's say that we also own about $3,000 worth of assets. So we have uh, a total of $6,000. Uh, we 50% of those assets we own, so our leverage position, which is the ratio of assets to equity, is 2. Uh, now, if the rate of uh, debt, let's, uh, first of all, let's assume that we have no taxes and we don't expect a return from equity, uh, then uh, the rate of return uh, that we want, to, if our debt rate is 9%, then we need to get at least a 4% return on our total assets. Um, uh, notice that it's 50% of 9% because uh, they only have to work at 4.5 to meet that debt obligation. Now, if we also uh, recognize that there is a tax advantage, in other words, uh, we can deduct the um, uh, tax um, uh, uh, that we pay, and if our tax rate is up there near, uh, at least for now, at 30%, uh, that might go higher in future years. Uh, then notice how this required hurdle drops to only 3% uh, because of the tax advantage. Uh, so um, by getting a 3% return plus the tax advantage, we'll be able to meet our obligation of the uh, uh, 9%. But of course, we also want our equity to grow. So as we uh, put the constraint that we want the equity to maybe grow at 15 to uh, 14%, uh, then suddenly this weighted cost of capital, this hurdle rate, goes up to 10.3. So the next dollar that comes onto the farm, if its rate of return is less than 10.3, my business is not growing in relation to this hurdle rate. 
uh, if investments offer return greater than this, then um, my uh, business is actually growing. In other words, uh, those marginal dollars are, are working better for me. Uh, and so this becomes the, the value that one uses in the discounting and net present value calculations. Now, of course, this is assuming that the investments of interest have a similar risk characteristics as, as the overall farm. Uh, sometimes we might have to adjust this upward for a more risky investment or reduce it for a less risky investment. Uh, this uh, program allows you to save scenarios and then reload them. And furthermore, you can also print them out. So that's the weighted cost of capital um, scenario.